Hey guys, so in my last video, um, it's been a while, it really has been. In my last video, I was at my parents' house. If you guys remember, I was I did a conference from like Wednesday to third Wednesday to like Friday, and then Friday I went home for a wedding. And I think it was like mon Sunday or Monday I did a live and I was at my parents' house. That was the one my both showed up in, and so. I think in the lab, I was just talking about the conference or whatever. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> but anyways, and so after that conference, I went to New Orleans for a work trip, right? And so it was a really cool trip. Like, we were there to do, like, a site visit. And so, like, um, basically, um, with the area I work in, we're doing a lot as far as health initiatives to really get the, um, to really establish a community of health. So like my area is like nutrition, healthy eating, so it's like increasing access to food basically. Um, but then there are other areas, so it's like increasing access to healthcare, increasing access to physical activity. Um, then there's a couple of ones that's more so, we call it a health collaborative, so it's more so like on evaluations, so making sure that this work we're doing is actually effective, that it's actually making an impact. And then there's another, another area that's kind of just about sustainability of the actual organization. And so that's just part of what I do. And so they had the site visit, and basically on the site visits, we go to like another area that has similar demographics to my area, um, but and they're doing like different things in health. And so we kind of go to kind of you know learn about what they're doing, figure out their systems, figure out their processes, all that kind of stuff, right? And so then we come back and report on it. Sometimes we, you know, do some, try their ideas in our area and that kind of stuff. But we also go and we tell them like the stuff we're doing in our area as well. So sometimes they're interested and they might do something that we're doing. So it's a really cool, cool like exchange basically. But the cool, th really cool thing about this was the fact that the organization paid for everything. They paid for our flights, they paid for our hotels. They even paid for our food. So I mean, like, I was like, oh, y'all paying for food? I'm about to order, like, wherever I want, like, stuff that I normally wouldn't buy. So like the first night, I had, like, uh, this roasted duck breast with, like, mashed potatoes and, like, frog and, like, this micro green salad. Like, it was so good, it was so awesome. It was really, really good, actually. And, like, I don't eat duck. I'm not going to buy duck or frog or anything like that. But, like, I wasn't paying for it. So, I was like, you know, I can step out. I can be a little bit more adventurous, you know. And then for dessert, my um, friend, she's, she just kept talking about how, oh, Lana, you need to try creme brulee. It's so good. But I don't like, like, puddings. I don't like really, like, creamy, cream-based things sometimes. I get weird with those kind of things. Particularly puddings. Like, anything that's similar to a pudding. So, a custard, I'm like, I probably won't like the custard. It's just weird. It weirds me out. I was like, you know what? They had it at the restaurant. I was like, well, let me give it a try. Because, again, I'm not paying for it. So, if I don't like it, hey, fine. At least I've tried it, you know? And so, anyways, I tried it. It was actually really good. Um, it was actually really good. And I was glad I tried it. But, anyways. And so, I stepped out. You know, I did beyond what I normally would do because of the fact that it wasn't on me. It was on someone else. And, like, we have to take that mindset that, oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not operating out of myself. I'm not paying paying for it. And we have to use that when we're working and moving and operating in ministry. When we're doing things on God's behalf, we have to have that same mindset. And so, like, one of the things that God has really been kind of pushing me in the area is, like, particularly the area of healing. And, like, even from when I first got, like, filled with the Holy Ghost, um, I remember there were instances where God would, would, like, tell me, like, heal that person. Like, pray, you know, that they get healed. Like, actually, you know, go to them and pray over them. And, like, I would really be apprehensive over it. I'm just like, what, what are they going to think? Are they going to be receptive of it? Is it going to work? Like, I would, like, talk, basically talk myself out of it, like, every single time. Like, every, without a doubt, every single time God would, like, heal that person. Or whatever, I wouldn't do it because I'm just like, mm, I don't know. And so, um, this is, I was, well, so while I was at home, um, so during the same time, so I went to New Orleans and went back home. Um, I, um, I had a friend basically who had been dealing with like some issues, like with their, um, feet, like it would hurt them to walk basically. And so, um, I was like, let me pray for you. And like, I've never really, really operated in, like, healing in that capacity where, like, I'm engaging the person. Like, 
I might pray for them, like, you know, before I go to sleep, like, on my prayer list, like, oh, let this person be healed, or God heal this person, but not actually engaging them, like, oh, you're going to hear me. Like, I'm praying for them in my own house, but not, like, in front of them type things. But I was like, you know what? I just came back from, because you guys know I was just at Dr. Face, um, uh, school of, those was what, what was it called? School of something. A oh, ministry development school, that's what it was, and one of the areas that we talked about. And I think this was what my last video was about. I was just talking about healing and miracles and all that kind of stuff. And it's crazy because, like, I was, did that video, I think it was, like, Monday or so, and I was talking about, yeah, I just learned about healing and miracles. I was able to witness it and how easy it is, and, like, you just have to be, like, consistent. You don't have to be worried about it. It's not a big deal. And then I was like, so you just going to let this person not be healed? you just going to let this person be in pain? It's like, oh, yeah, right. I can't. I just can't do it. And so I did just like they um, instructed us. They basically told us, you know, if a person is feeling some type of pain or whatever, ask them on the scale from 1 to 10, where's your pain level? And they told me um, their pain level was at like a 6. I was like, okay. And so then I just prayed. I was like, Father, in the name of Jesus, um, I command this pain to go away. That was the prayer. Um, and then I asked them again. And like, so I was with her. Um, and so she kind of walked around a little bit like to test it out she's like oh I'm at like a five so she was at a six then she was at a five it's like all right because the thing is about healing that I've learned and like Dr. Faith has mentioned this a couple of times and I've learned is that you have to be persistent sometimes sometimes it happens like instantly but then sometimes it's a progression type thing so you have to like be persistent with it and though sometimes that can be a little bit discouraging. Like, oh, they didn't get healed immediately. No, you just keep going. You keep pressing. You just work that thing out. And so then I prayed again. It's like, okay, in the name of Jesus, I command all pain to go away. And so then um, they tested it out again. It was like, okay, I'm at like a four. All right. And I kept doing it. I kept doing it. And then they was at like a two. So they went from a four to a three, from a six to a five to a four, then to a three, and then to a two. And so I prayed again. It was actually kind of funny, though. So, like, when they were around, like, a four, so we was on carpet. They was like, well, it really hurts when I'm on, like, hardwood floor. So we, and I was like, wait, wait, don't don't change it. Don't change the environment. That They didn't go over that in the training. Like, they didn't tell us what to do. Because, you know, like, when you have, like, an experiment, you got to keep all the variables the same. You only change one variable. I was like, oh, you're changing too many variables. This is still going to work. So I started getting nervous. And so... I was like, but you know what, God, this one's on you. Again, this ain't on me. This isn't, I'm not doing this within my own ability, within my own strength. I'm doing this through the Holy Spirit working through me, you know. And so it's just that mindset of I'm not responsible for this. I'm not uh, footing the bill for this. Having that mindset of this is on God. God is taking care of this. and He's just using me. And so having that mindset it was like, okay, wait, no, I don't have to be worried. And so then they tried in the hallway and it was hurting more in the hallway than it did on the carpet and so then i kept praying and prayed it down from like a four to a three to a two and, and got to the last time she was like oh it's just a little tangible pain i was like uh-uh we're not stopping until we're, it's completely gone so i prayed again i just kept praying that very simple pain, prayer of pain i command you to go in the name of jesus and that pain went down and she got the last time was like i don't feel anything like i honestly don't feel anything i was like whew thank you jesus but it was awesome and it's just it kind of showed me how, like, even in the situation when I was in the restaurant, just ordering all types of stuff, I wasn't worried about, like, if I didn't like it, if it didn't work out, I didn't care because I didn't pay for it. And that's how our mindset has to be. Our mindset has to be, like, oh, this isn't on me. My name is not being affected by this. This is on God. So then that way you have the courage to then go out and do whatever it is he's called you to do. Because if he told you to do it, he's going to see you do it. It's going to work. It's going to happen. Wherever it is, it's not going to, like, you're not going to fail if he told you to do it. Because now his name is on the line, not ours. And so having that mentality, having that just knowledge of knowing that this one's on God, he's got me, it's going to work out. I don't then have to be afraid or worried about, oh, what's going to happen next, you know. I just have to operate in a way that... I'm supposed to, which is basically really just, you know, walking into that authority because we all have authority to, you know, do all sorts of things, heal people, 
have help people get delivered, cast out demons, whatever, wherever it needs to be. We have the authority to do it. We just have to walk in it. And so recognizing that I have the authority to do it and that at the end of the day, it's not on me, but it's rather it's on God, putting it back on to God, then it's like I don't have that fear of what if this doesn't work. It's like, oh, no, I got this. Like, well, it's not even that I got this. God got this, and he's just going to use me. So I just want to encourage you guys, like, change your mindset, like, I know, because, like, I've literally been stuck there for years of, like, God has told me to do this thing, told me to heal this person, and I didn't do it because I'm like, what if, what if it doesn't work? Or what if I say the wrong thing or they perceive it wrong, weird or, you know, like, what are they going to think? And it's like, no, you got to get out of that. Like, and just know that, hey, God told you to do it, he got you, and it's going to work. So I just want to encourage you guys. I hope you guys have a great day.